Okay guys, welcome to our new topic in Precalculus. So we are still in lesson 1.1, but this time we're going to study about the equation of a circle in general form. Okay, so the general form of an equation of a circle is of the form x squared plus y squared plus dx plus ey plus f is equal to 0, where d, e, and f are constants. On the other hand, we have the standard form of an equation of a circle, so we're done with this topic. So that is of the form the quantity of x minus h squared plus the quantity of y minus k squared is equal to r squared, where the center is at hk. Okay, so the objective of this lesson is for us to convert or change the equation from standard to general and from general going back to its standard form. So let's begin with this example. Example number one. So we have the quantity of x minus 2 squared plus the quantity of y minus 3 squared is equal to 36. So we are given an equation in standard form and we need to convert it to its general form. So first step. First step is we need to expand the quantity of x minus 2 squared. How? So recall your lesson in the square of a binomial. So we have the quantity of a minus b squared. So that will give us a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. So applying this concept, so we square the first term. That is x squared. Then we square the second term. So that is positive 4. Then we get the product of the two terms. So 2 times x is 2x. Then double that product. So 2x times 2, we have 4x. Then we copy the sign of our given since that is minus. So that will be the sign of the middle term. So we have x squared minus 4x plus 4. Okay, now we do the same to quantity of y minus 3 squared. So apply the square of a binomial. So first, we need to get the square of y. So that will give us y squared. Then the square of 3. So that will give us 3 squared or 9. Then we get the product of the first and second terms. So 3 times y is 3y. Then double that product. So we have 6y. So that will be your middle term. And the sign is still negative because that is the sign of your given. So the sign of the middle term is minus 6y. Or we have y squared minus 6y plus 9. Next, we combine the answer. So we have x squared minus 4x plus 4. Plus the quantity of y squared minus 6y plus 9 is equal to 36. So now, the next step is for us to remove the parentheses. And then follow the format of the general form. So we have x squared plus y squared minus 4x minus 6y plus the constant plus 4 plus 9 minus 36 is equal to 0. So we combine all the constant. Okay? So we need to transfer positive 36 to the left side of the equation through addition property of equality. So now we simply combine the constants. 4 plus 9 minus 36. So that will give us the final answer of x squared plus y squared minus 4x minus 6y minus 23 is equal to 0. And notice we have followed the general form. That is x squared plus y squared plus dx plus ey plus f equal to 0. Okay, let's try another example. Example number 2. The quantity of x minus 5 squared plus the quantity of y plus 1 squared is equal to 25. So again, we begin with the quantity of x minus 5 squared by applying the square of a binomial. So square of the first term, so square of x is x squared. Square of the second term, so square of 5 is 25. Then getting the product of the first and second term, so 5 times x is 5x. Double the result, so 5x times 2 is 10x. So that will be your middle term. 
and the sine of the middle term is negative. Okay, we do the same to quantity of y plus 1 squared. We apply the square of a binomial. Okay, so now we have square of y, so that is y squared. Then square of 1, so that will give us 1. Then getting the product of y times 1, so that will give us y. Then double the result times 2, so that will give us a middle term of 2y. And since the given is plus, so the sign of the middle term is positive. Okay, next step is for us to combine the results. So now we have x squared minus 10x plus 25 plus y squared plus 2y plus 1 is equal to the constant. So the constant is now on the other side, that is 25. Okay. So next, we follow the format of the general form. So that will give us x squared plus y squared minus 10x plus 2y plus 25 plus 1 minus 25. So we move it to the left side of the equation is equal to 0. Then simplifying this further, so we have x squared plus y squared minus 10x plus 2y plus 1 is equal to 0. So that will be the equation in general form. Okay, example number 3. So this time we are given an equation in general form and we are going to convert it to its standard form. First step. Okay, first step is we group together those terms with similar variables. So we group together terms with x variables and also we group together terms with y variables and then the constant. So now we have x squared minus 4x plus y squared minus 6y minus 23 is equal to 0. Next step is for us to isolate the constant to the other side of the equation. So from left side, transferring it to the right side by addition property of equality. So now we have x squared minus 4x plus y squared minus 6y is equal to 23. Notice that we have grouped together x squared minus 4x and y squared minus 6y. The objective is for us to complete the square. So recall the lesson in completing the square. So how do we complete the square of x squared minus 4x? So let's begin with this one. So the process is for us to get half of 4. So what is half of 4? So that will give us 2. Square that answer, so 2 squared is 4. So we need to add 4 to x squared minus 4x. Next, how about y squared minus 6y? We do the same process of completing the square. We get half of 6, so that will give us 3. Square that answer, so 3 squared, that will give us 9. So we need to add 9 to y squared minus 6y to complete the square. So that will give us x squared minus 4x plus 4 and y squared minus 6y plus 9 is equal to the constant on the right side so we have 23 but don't forget to add plus 4 and plus 9 because the concept is we still need to make the equation balance or the left side equal to the right side of the equation. Since we now have a perfect square trinomial, so we need to factor it out to make it a square of a binomial. So how are we going to do that? First, we need to get the square root of x squared, so that will give us x. Then we also need to get the square root of 4, so that will give us 2. Then simply copy the sign of the middle term, so that will give us the quantity of x minus 2 squared. Also, we do the same process to y squared minus 6y plus 9. We, gain, we need to get the square root of y squared, so that will give us y. Get the square root of 9, so that will give us 3. Then we copy the sign of the middle term, so that will give us negative or minus. So now the answer becomes the quantity of y minus 3 squared. While on the right side of the equation, we now add 23 plus 4 plus 9, and that will give us 36. 
So our final answer becomes the quantity of x minus 2 squared plus the quantity of y minus 3 squared is equal to 36. So that will be from general to the standard form. Okay, last example, example number 4. Given the general form x squared plus y squared minus 10x plus 2y plus 1 equal to 0. Okay, first step is we need to group together x squared minus 10x, also y squared plus 2y, then the constant plus 1 equal to 0. Okay, next, after grouping them together, we need to isolate the constant to the right side. So that will give us x squared minus 10x plus y squared plus 2y is equal to 1 or negative 1. Next is we apply completing the square. So we focus first on x squared minus 10x. So we get half of 10, so that is 5. Then square that answer, so 5 squared is 25. So we add plus 25 to x squared minus 10x. Next, y squared plus 2y. So we need to get half of 2. That will give us 1. Square that answer, so 1 squared is still 1. So we need to add 1 to y squared plus 2y. Then don't forget on the right side of the equation to add 25 and 1. So now we have x squared minus 10x plus 25 plus y squared plus 2y plus 1 is equal to negative 1 plus 25 plus 1. Okay, next step is to factor out x squared minus 10x plus 25 by getting the square of a binomial. Okay, first we need to get the square root of x squared that will give us x. Square root of 25, so that will give us 5. Then we copy the sign of the middle term, so that is minus. So now we have the quantity of x minus 5 squared. Okay, on the other hand, we have y squared plus 2y plus 1. First, we need to get the square root of y squared, so that will give us y. Then we need to get the square root of 1, so that will give us 1. Then we copy the sign of the middle term, so that is positive. So that becomes the quantity of y plus 1 squared. While on the other side of the equation, we have negative 1 plus 25 plus 1. So that will give us a constant of 25. So the final answer becomes the quantity of x minus 5 squared plus the quantity of y plus 1 squared is equal to 25. Okay, so that will be all for this lesson and see you next meeting.